I am Dr. Hazel Wilkinson, a retired member of staff at the George Laboratory in the Royal Botanic Gardens, Kew. I had the privilege of assisting with a police murder inquiry known as the Adam case. Kew has scientific experts in identifying plants and plant parts. Kew also has a fine collection of books in our libraries on plant structure, medicinal plants, poisonous plants, especially those from tropical regions. Kew was asked to identify the contents of Adam's large intestine. The background to this case revealed that on September the 21st, 2001, the torso of a small boy aged about five years old was found floating in the Thames near Tower Bridge. The police had the difficult task of trying to identify where Adam came from and why he had been killed. The torso was without head, arms or legs the body had been drained of blood and, of course, there were no dental records. Nobody had reported or claimed a missing child. The Police Forensic Science Service named this child Adam. They had discovered that there was a remarkable match of Adam's DNA to that of West African subjects. In addition, the mineral content of Adam's bones indicated that he grew up in the Benin area of Nigeria. This information, including the police forensic findings, was vital to our research. I then knew that we should investigate plants grown in Nigeria or neighbouring countries of West Africa. Before examining any fragments, I consulted Kew's extensive libraries to research categories of plants, recipes and beliefs which exist in Nigeria. I had several tiny fragments to view under a binocular microscope. At first glance, material from this large intestine appeared to be a fluffy, foul-smelling, tangled mass. Soon it became easy to pick out the hard seed coats, harder fragments of bone and quartz crystals. To our great surprise, we found a small but entire leaf. Some specimens are very difficult to see under the microscope, and so I decided to use blue or red dyes to stain the fragments. I was then able to isolate about 19 types of plant fragment and view them at various magnifications. The most poisonous ones were the calabar bean cells, the seed coats of Datura or Brugmansia, and the small leaf, which appears to be a species of Daphne. I used samples from the herbarium at Kew to verify some of the gut specimens it was also crucial to use reference books to help us to draw conclusions. Since the first findings of the Calabar bean, many other items have been found. This work done at Kew fully supported the police's idea that Adam's last meal was intended at the very least to sedate disorientate and perhaps partially paralyze him. Other seeds and leaves may have been make-weights or for flavoring to encourage the boy to eat what he was given. It also certainly indicated that a sacrificial recipe composed the meal.